Hi guys, back, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is day 66 of the Volsians, uh, the Volsian book, right here. Let's get started. The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. Psalm 19.1 God delights in his creation. Nature reflects God's beauty and we should delight in it too. In our modern world, it would be pretty easy to go from building to car to building to car and never stop to experience nature. Maybe you're surrounded by the concrete of the suburbs or the high rising buildings of a major metropolis. Or maybe you live on a farm surrounded by nature all the time and you're chuckling at the rest of us right now. No matter where you live, you can enjoy God's ha handiwork. Make an effort to get outside and experience the things God has created. Check out parks or walking trails in your area. Go for an easy hike if you're a beginner. Plan a camping weekend and appreciate the peace and stillness of being away from the bustle of regular, regular life. Or even just get out into your backyard or patio and grow something. Urban gardens are awesome. It's amazing what you can produce in a planter box. Well, this one's going to be kind of short because I don't really know if I got much of anything today for this. So, yeah, God delights in his creation. Um... um yeah, in the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and He's the one that created everything and everything that in this world, whether it be animals or whether it be human beings, um, whether it be um, like the nature, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He, he's created a lot of a lot of things and we need to learn how to delight in God's creation and we need to learn how to um, appreciate what God has made for us and we need to learn how to appreciate the things that we do have in our life it doesn't just have to be about God's creation it should be also about the people we have in our life for instance it can be any anyone. It could be a family member. It could be um your mom or your dad. It could be friends. It could be your pastors or youth pastors or youth leaders from church. It could be um your teacher from school. It could be another fellow classmate it could perhaps even be someone you're in a relationship with it can even perhaps be a, your your partner perhaps me it could it can it could even be like your boyfriend or fiance or your husband or it could be your girlfriend fiance or wife it could be perhaps it could be your crush <laughs> But we need to appreciate the things that we have in our life and we need to appreciate the people we have in our life and appreciate God's and and appreciate and and delight in God's creation. We should want to do that. It's so easy to want to like um to like forget about um the um the need like um the outdoors and the nature and God's creation and be so focused on how busy we get whether it be work family whether it be making plans with friends so that doesn't include the outdoors whether it be going on vacation doesn't matter what it is we tend to forget about them we tend to and whenever and even if we're, whenever we're outside and we're on the outdoors it might not even come to the to our mind 
to the fact that we should be enjoying it and not just, you know, being out there and just simply being out there. Yeah, it's a good thing, but we should never forget to delight and enjoy God's creation and appreciate it. And thank God that he, he, he about, thank God about the nature and his creation. Well, definitely God's creation of the nature and the outdoors, basically. But we need to be, you know, thanking God for that. We need to be thanking God for the people and for the things in our life. We also need to be thankful that we even have, we may, maybe even have a job or we even have a roof over our heads or clothes to wear, shoes to eat. We have a roof over our heads um, that our parents can provide for us. Or it's the little things as well. Like, not just the big things, but the little things we really need to be grateful for. Like, we need to be grateful for the things and people in our life. But we should be enjoying God's creation. And no matter where we live, we can enjoy God's handy work. We can, no matter where we live, we can enjoy God's handy work. We can enjoy God's creation. We can enjoy God's nature. And we need to be making an effort to get outside and experience the things God has created. We need to make an effort out of our day to be outside and experience the things God has created. Even if it's just for an hour a day, when it's like obviously nice weather. If it's like obviously if it's raining or if it's storming, then yeah, maybe you should stay inside for that. But if it's like a decent day, even if it's just cloudy, partly cloudy, partly sunny and cloudy, sunny, just take take some time out of your day to go outside. And experience and enjoy God's creation and nature. To enjoy God's nature. And, and yeah. But I believe that's all I have for you today. But I hope you enjoy this devotional. If God spoke to you, stay tuned for the next devotional. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, turn on those notifications. Stay tuned for all my videos. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.